Hello everybody and welcome to episode 10, the one that you have been waiting for. This is where we will actually start the development of our custom app, our leave management app, using App Engine Studio. So we've gone through all the steps and nine episodes of configuration and getting things all ready and making sure the platform team is happy with us doing this development work. It's been approved and we have some sample stories. So to update you on that, I have created all the sample stories which Chuck had given us. And they're pretty generic, but they're good for our um, the series that we're doing and good examples. So I'm thinking off the back of this, a, a decent form, a portal, a workflow, um, <clears throat> maybe even a workspace. So these are six stories. We may not develop them all because I think, uh, especially the last one there in terms of an integration, might be quite difficult to achieve and what we're trying to do here. But at the very least, maybe that we can do five stories to develop in App Engine Studio. But this is our attempt. This is our, our way of trying to find the limitations as well. So I'm not going to go through, you know, sprint planning and pulling these stories into sprints and scrum tasks and things like that. It gives you an idea that, yes, we have a base to work from here and a backlog to work through. So, um, you know, you may not even use Agile for citizen development. It may be too much of a uh, something for them to think of, in which case you might want to... Think of other ways um, through waterfall or other means of being able to QA the kind of work that citizen developers are doing. So it's something that you should have in your guiding principles and um, you know processes for them to follow your governance models. So if I start the timer again on here, we will then make a start on creating our brand new app. Timer started. Okay. Right. So there's our backlog. We're in as Emily. Let's go to the App Engine Studio. And then this episode is just purely about the basics to begin with. So this is the basics of the app. So a name, whether we want to, um, or interesting error with templates so far. So good start. Um, it's a good job that we won't be using templates, isn't it? So it gives a nice little information about that. It looks like we don't have too much access to other stuff that's happened so uh interesting okay so but we do want to obviously create a new app we wanted to create from scratch anyway so that's good so name of the app do we want to give it a better name hmm. um no <laughs> leave management um let's just call it that it's boring i know it's okay um request leave and check Holiday status, something like that. I do have a logo to upload. I downloaded one recently. Um, here it is. Here, I hope you like it. <laughs> it's just uh, it's just a, a, an SVG file of like a nice little beach holiday or something. <laughs> so let's continue. Right. So this is where we really have to start thinking about it. Go straight into security. Which is interesting because, um, you know, would citizen developers really know about all this stuff? Do they know about the whole governance around their app of, you know, who is a user, who is an admin? Potentially not. This is where they would need help from, you know, the architects and platform administrators to help define this. I'm going to just keep with an admin and user role for now. We may well come back and uh, change that uh, later on. And obviously, we're going to build these bits and pieces and functions as we go. So, you know, in terms of data and experience, uh, experiences like the portal and catalog items, etc. But let's just follow this through um, to our app dashboard to see how we can um, add a bit more meat to the bones. So we have our leave management app with a lovely... Um, grayscale icon um, and then we need to start adding experiences uh, to this although what's very interesting straight off the bat is that yes so we can see uh, we have uh, security information here logic um, interesting that it's coming up with a message here 
um, that you need access to create um, or review data. So the base access for uh, citizen developers immediately handcuffs you <laughs> to not be able to create because um, my my solution generally around this would be you know perhaps you want a, a different task table to handle uh, leave requests that was my uh, ideal scenario but here you are not letting the person do that essentially as a citizen developer straight off the bat you <laughs> have the ability to add logic which is only email and that's about it <laughs> you can't create experiences you can't create data points you can't create tables so you're very much limited and presumably security you can't do too much with this either so let's just explore the boundaries can we can we look at that can we change anything no not really so we have the basics of the app we have a name <laughs> but that's about it we don't have too much we do have the ability to change the name uh, icon and description um, we do have the ability to go into dev studio which is interesting so this is the old um, studio file so it'd be interesting to see if we have the ability to create tables which doesn't look like we do well let's see well it looks like we do so interestingly it was locked down on the previous view <laughs> through app engine studio but still gives you the ability to create tables through studio so now i don't want to do things through studio <laughs> I don't want to create tables through this means or other experiences. We want to use a uh, the App Engine Studio um, UI to do all of this, and not through Dev Studio. So Dev Studio is very much for backend developers and not citizen developers. So it keeps giving the error to do with templates, but we'll need to then investigate in our next video how can we allow these guys to manage their own tables within app engine studio so for this episode that's it next episode let's do a bit more digging <laughs>